Hey guys, um, you're probably wondering why this video is voiceover and that is because as you may or may not know I did accidentally film the first few clips of this video in slow-mo but the rest of the video is not in slow-mo, okay? I fixed it, okay? But I do have to do a voiceover for a couple of clips because I messed up, yada yada, y'all get it. So basically, you read the title, you clicked on the video, you know what it is. Today, I am letting Instagram pick my next crochet projects. So basically how this worked was I picked three different categories. I picked room decor, accessories, and clothing. And I let you guys pick which one I crocheted. But I blurred out the pictures just a little bit so you guys couldn't really tell what they were. I know you guys knew what they were based off what y'all picked. So in this video, I'm just going to be crocheting what was chosen. Yeah, for the room decor, the blanket was chosen for whatever reason y'all chose the blanket. For clothing, the sweater that I actually did want to make got chosen. And for accessories, the crochet jewelry box got chosen. I wish instead of the gray square blanket, I put like one of these finger knit blankets because I'm really interested in doing finger crocheting, finger knitting, and I want to make a blanket. I get a lot of questions about what yarn I use, and I this is my go-to yarn. I love this yarn, the Hobby Lobby one, because it is so soft and it's <clears throat> relatively cheap. I mean, it's not expensive. I'm going to pick out some colors for first the blanket. I don't know if I want to do like an off-white or a white for like the colors. Maybe I'll do both. But I'm kind of like, I kind of also want to do like a brown. I don't know. These are the colors that I was talking about for the sweater. I was looking at this one last time. Thumbnail. <laughs> I was thinking about this one because I really like this color. Ooh, this. This would be cute. <gasps> Ooh, this would be cool. Ooh, okay. I think I'm gonna stick with this colorway because I don't know something <gasps> or this one this one's cute it's like similar but this one's darker I think this I'm gonna go with this one for the sweater I'm gonna get two okay so there's the sweater the jewelry box this is the jewelry box I have no idea the items I need but I'm gonna get the yarn I need I need a pink I have that green and then I think I have a cream but I'm not sure so I'm just gonna get pink I like the pink that she used here and it's similar to that one but that one is too light. I like that one is too pinky. I want something that's like like this kind of pink. You know what I mean? Or there's also these. Ooh, I like this pink. I like this pink. Ooh, wait, what if I do like a yellow kind of blanket? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around with the colors for the blanket. If I found the colorway I want, I want something neutral like this. I'm just gonna get all these colors. This is the color combo I've come up with. And then I'll add anything I have at home. So this is gonna be the blanket so far. So now I'm gonna go get the little boxes for the um, cake jewelry thing. Here are the boxes. I don't know where I'm gonna find that little circle one. I might have to order it on Amazon because I think I've looked before and I couldn't find it. I'm trying to not be nervous filming in public, but I got everything. I couldn't find the boxes, so I'm just gonna order it on Amazon, but I'm about to buy everything and I'm excited. I'm really excited for the blanket. I hope it turns out really cute and the sweater. Yo, the total was only 27, not bad at all. Okay guys, it's the next day and I just wanted to show you guys the sweater I finally finished after a whole year for my uncle. <laughs> but here's what it looks like. He wanted it like cropped, so, and he's tall, so this is kind of cropped on him. But I'm obsessed with it. I still need to add more length to, length to the sleeve as you can clearly tell. But like halfway through the projects, I had to change the yarn because they stopped selling this yarn. And thankfully I found one that was very similar to it. But I just wanted to show you guys, this was the last thing I had to do before I started this video and I'm excited, I'm really excited. I've been looking at that yarn, I was looking at it all night while I was working on this sweater. I just wanted to get started but now I finally can. Okay, I finally reached the second color of the, the yarn and it's kind of scaring me because all of this is brown. So this is, it's, I was thinking like every row would be a different color, I don't know why I was thinking that. But I mean, I, guess, I think it'll still look cool, just not as cool as I thought. But I'm trying to trust the process here. But yeah, I really like this yellow. Like, you see how it transitions? I don't know, I really like that. 
but yeah so far so good okay i just hit the next color <clears throat> and this is how much we've gotten done i do think because this is as much as we have left so i think i might go to hobby lobby to get another ball today because i don't know if it'll be enough for the size that i want but i actually really like the way this is looking like i love i feel like the camera's not really capturing it but like this yellow to green mix or like what's it called yellow to green ombre i don't really know it looks so good and i really like the colors and i'm loving the way it's turning out so far so yeah there's my little update i'm probably gonna go get another one i'm about to go get some chipotle so i'm gonna crochet in the car hey guys i just got home and i wanted to give you guys a little update on the sweater because i kind of hate it i don't know if i like this color combination it's not turning out how i thought it would but let me show you this is what it looks like I kind of hate it, but I kind of like it. I don't know how I feel. Like, I feel like I have to keep going. I don't like how it's in, like, bricks. Like, I kind of wanted it to be every row or, like, every couple of rows. But it's just bricks. Like, brick, 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 brick. So, I don't know how I feel. But I'm definitely going to need another yarn. Because this is has how much I have left. And we're not even done with this sleeve. And I went to Hobby Lobby earlier today. But it was sold this yarn was sold out. So, I would have to go to another Hobby Lobby. So, maybe I'll go... <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, tonight, I think I'm not going to work on this tonight. I think tonight I'm going to start editing this video because I don't want to be behind on editing like I was last video because last video took me a whole day to edit and that was only half the video because I lost the other half of it. So I really want to get this video done and posted. Ideally by Friday, but since I do have to make a blanket, I doubt it'll get posted by Friday because today's what, Saturday? Today's Saturday. So uh, yeah. Be canceled. I'm wearing one of those atelier pieces that you've concocted. Mm, security! <sighs> <laughs> you know, in my life, I have just felt like uh, the world is against me and I am doing better. Healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. <laughs> Hey guys, happy new year. Ignore the way I look. I just woke up. But um, yesterday I was working on the blanket. And here's how far I got. I'm obsessed with the color combo. I really, really like this color combo. But I was counting the squares that she made in the picture. Like the inspiration picture. And it's looking a lot like 100 squares. So I don't know if I'm going to make it that big. But I don't know. I've already made how many squares? One, two, I think 10. Oh, I've made 11. And if I make 10 squares a day, I'll be done with the blanket in 10 days. But I think I can make more than 10 squares a day. So, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated with how much I made today. Yeah, I feel really good about this. I'm going to get it done quickly because I'm trying to post videos every Friday. And today's Monday. So, this might be not this week, but next week's upload. Because I don't think I'll be able to finish the blanket that quick. big i want it and this is what i have so far i think i'm gonna do six across instead of ten because ten is kind of crazy i'm not making 100 squares so i don't know how long i want to make it though because if i'm making it kind of small like this i kind of want to make it long so like the width is small but the length will probably be long so i don't know 6 12 18 24 30 36 42 so i'll probably end up making 60 squares total i've made 6, 12, 18, 19, 20, 20, 40, 50, 60, 30 more squares. And I can definitely do that. So I'm feeling really good. I'm making like a mini blanket. But I'm really loving this color combination. Are y'all seeing? I'm feeling good about my progress. 
It's only been two days, so I'm feeling very good. Y'all, why I go to edit the video when half of it is in slow motion? In fact, let me make sure that this clip is on in slow motion. I'll be right back. Okay, it's not in slow motion. <laughs> so, I made a couple more granny scores. I'm gonna show you guys our progress for today. Look at how many we have here. I'll probably do six wide, six length because I feel like six is a good number. This is gonna be a baby blanket because the picture is the blanket ain't even that big either. So y'all can't even be mad at me. I picked that picture for a reason. Okay, if I wanna make it this big, I just need three more squares. But I gotta keep in mind that it's gonna be a lot smaller than this because everything's gonna be squished together. So maybe I'll do 10 going down. How many do I got left, man? That means I have to make 60. How many do I have? 6, 12, 18, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I have 30 squares. I need to make 30 more. A little update. I love the colors. The colors are so cute. But yeah, I think I'm done for tonight. Because, girl, I'm going to eat me some dinner. And... Oh, I better not get copyrighted. My dad is playing music downstairs. But yeah, <clears throat> I'm going to finish this and then eat dinner and probably edit that's what i said yesterday but i was wrong. this is my first project of 2024 <gasps> but y'all i posted on my instagram like my instagram story that they need to make a crochet version of goodreads because i would eat that i would eat that up y'all they need to make one of those because if you could like put like your progress of how long how much more you have of your project and like how, your goal of how many projects you want to finish and like all that i feel like that would be so fun and it would be such a good community maybe that's what i hey if one of y'all are watching this and you create that app y'all better credit me because i'm come i'm gonna come get my check okay i'm not playing period now i'm a chatterbox okay okay bye guys refilming this entire portion because it was in slow-mo again but i figured it out i watched a tiktok and it's like a tiny tiny little button at the top called s and s and q and i guess that means slow motion i don't know but i pick up Something I learned that always works when I have hiccups. I haven't tried it in years, but I learned it from YouTube a long time ago. If you drink water and you close your eyes and your, if you drink water and you close your nose and your ears, your hiccups will go away. So I haven't done it. I haven't done it in years, but it always worked for me. So we're gonna do it. It always works every single time every single time i don't know why it works i know you're probably like oh it's the next day no baby it's been two days yesterday i had a client all day and then the day before that i was busy like editing and just getting a lot of stuff done because it was january 1st but now i can relax with you guys and we can crochet yesterday i went to the store and i picked up some more yarn for the cardigan i mean for the sweater and hopefully I only have to use one more because I want to return the other one because this yarn is expensive. But, I don't know, I'm excited. Um, This is how much of our sweater we have done. We have a whole side. And then we're working on this one right here. But I'll keep you guys updated with everything. I'm probably going to go out today, have fun, but crochet in the car. That's like my favorite thing to do. I love crocheting in the car. Like, that's the best. Comment down below what y'all think, like, the best place to crochet is. I think it's the car. Or, like... <gasps> Oh my god, when it's raining outside and it's like dark, oh my gosh, and you're watching like a comfort show like 
Jane the Virgin or Gilmore Girls or Pretty Little Liars and it's like raining and it's drizzy outside and it's like light thunder and you have your candle oh my gosh it's the best that and reading in that like atmosphere I love it so much but anyways I digress we're gonna continue this hopefully this clip is not in slow-mo if it's in slow-mo I am quitting my YouTube channel and you're never gonna see me again and I'm gonna walk off the face of the earth and y'all will never hear from me again um <clears throat> yeah that's really all I have that's the only update I have blanket is still there doing her thing I gotta get that done but I still have time because today is Thursday and this Friday I already have a video going up and so this video is getting posted next Friday in my time not yours my time so that means I have a week to finish everything that I need to finish and that's plenty of time or is it because I have school next week school starts next week so I'm really need to get stuff done like this week so I'm gonna finish this sweater hopefully today and yeah i will see you guys later i just wanted to give you guys a quick little update because i haven't talked to y'all in a hot minute it's been a minute so yeah i'm gonna catch you guys my hair has been straight for the past three videos that is three weeks quick update on my progress i'm almost done i'm almost done with the second sleeve and then the fun part comes after that i just have to i think i have like two or three more rows and then i'll make the cuff and then i'll add the rows on the side and then we'll connect it and make it longer and i'm getting excited we're on the home stretch so i'll set you guys up gift card I got like three four years ago to this store called the yarn boutique and I went once and we're gonna go in today because why not Okay, this is what I got. Really pretty, like, kind of bulky yarns. And, oh, they're hotcakes. Yeah, that's all I got. Two of these, $30. <laughs> I'm gonna see you guys later. I spent too much money, I fear. Okay, I worked on the sweater a lot while I was out. And I don't know if I'm done yet. We're gonna try it on to see if it's long enough. If it's not, then it's getting steamed because I'm tired of making it. But let's try it on. This is my first time trying it on, so I'm excited. Yeah, it's not as long as I want yet. Oh, but I like it. Hold on. I think I'm gonna steam it. I want it to be like that long. I want it to be pretty big, but everything else about it fits pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna steam it for sure. So honestly, I think I'm gonna start working on the, um, the ribbing at the bottom and then I'll steam it to the length that I want but I like it it's kind of cute oh it's so ugly <laughs> I can't tell if I like it or not I don't know I think it has to grow on me what do y'all think
Okay, <clears throat> I just finished the ribbing, and look how tiny the hole for the body is. I'm sorry, I didn't feel like doing a whole lot of ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna stretch it. So I'm gonna steam it, and we're gonna try it on. And we're done with one, project number one. I'm sorry, I'm just, I, 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 I'm like, I can't recover from what I just read. Like, I just literally. If y'all have it, yeah, y'all need to read this book. Read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. Read it and weep, because it is so good. Like, it is so good. And I'm not like a fantasy kind of girl. So that's how you know it's good. I read my romance, my thrillers, and my mystery books. I don't, I don't touch f um, fantasy. But now I might dibble dabble a little bit because that book is so good. The plot twist. <sighs> I don't even know how to feel. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this sweater on real quick. And let me see how it looks. Okay, so I did the ribbing and it's been like an hour since I told you I was gonna try it on. I, I started laying in bed. But we're gonna try it on now. It's so small. Oh God, okay. I can't even fit in it. Ugh. I got stuck. I definitely want it bigger. I want the ribbing to show, so we're gonna steam it for sure. This is how long I want it to be, naturally. But the ribbing is just so damn tight. I took the waistband off because it was just entirely too tight and it was I didn't like the way it was looking so I just let it free ball without the waistband so project one is done I think I'm gonna wear it tomorrow I like it I like the design I don't like the colors but I love this design okay so today is January 7th and this is how many squares I haven't done. <clears throat> I think I have 36. I don't remember. No, no, no. Yeah, I have like five, I think. But, y'all, tell me why this book is so good. I'm almost done. This is how far I am. I have that much left. And it's so good. Like, I want to hop right into the second book as soon as I finish that one. I'm going to finish it today. But I need to finish the other books that I'm reading, so maybe not. I don't know. But, yeah. I got my nails done yesterday. My birthday nails. Aren't they cute? She convinced me to do um, the bling and I wasn't gonna do it, but then she convinced me and I'm so happy I did because it's so cute. Break is officially over. So I'm gonna crochet as many squares as I can today. Hopefully I can finish making them. I still don't know how many I wanna make. I was gonna make 60, but like I laid it out and 60 looks like it's too little. So I don't know, but honestly, 60 is probably fine or even less than 60 because I'm not gonna make like a full Blanket for a bed. I'm gonna make it for like a chair like that. I can drape over a chair Because what do I look like making a full blanket for a video that I have to post in a week? No, not even a week. So what is that six days? so No five days five days I have to post this video in five days and I still have to edit everything and I have school and I still have to make one more thing so I'm just gonna make enough squares to drape it over a chair and I am gonna finish it today or at least I'm gonna finish the squares I don't know if I'm gonna finish the whole blanket because I have to do the perimeter like I have to make the border of the blanket and that'll probably take a little while but I'm definitely gonna finish the squares today and then tonight remind me to order the boxes for the jewelry holder that we're gonna make next and then we'll be officially done with this video and I can wrap it up but yeah that's my little update ignore my lashes I have to redo them but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update because I haven't been talking to y'all lately. It's been like a whole lot of time lapses and skipping days and I don't know. That's just my sign that I need to finish this video. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to stop talking.
Bye. Okay, I've decided this is going to be the total amount of squares that I make and I'm going to go ahead and connect them but let me show you guys how I want to connect them. I'm going to connect them like this with this little zigzag pattern. I feel like it'll add that needed level of spice so that's what I'm going to do right now. And it's 233. Hopefully I can finish by like 3. I'm going to connect them all and then make the border and then we'll be done. Okay, I've did one and I can't tell if I like it or if it just looks messy. I'm not seeing any zigzags. I don't know. What do y'all think? I think I'm gonna keep doing it because I don't know, it's kind of fun. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Remember, <clears throat> remember when I said I was gonna finish the blanket at three? So it's five now. And we're still not done. I've been sitting here the whole time. I swear I haven't gotten up. I've only gotten up to eat. And I'm still making this blanket. I'm so tired of it. I got these two rows completed. And then I have to connect this whole row, this whole row, this whole row. And then, oh, that row's completed. Oh, so I only have three. Okay, I feel a new sense of motivation. But I only have to connect the next three rows and then we have to do the border i still need to fold my laundry and i need to wash my hair and like i got a lot to do a lot to do i just don't want to make the blanket but i'm pretty far into my next book legendary yeah i wasted no time i was gonna read a different book but i couldn't i was too excited i had to get into this one all right let me show you guys where i am i'm on chapter 17 so i'm this far in literally almost halfway like I eat these books up is what I'm learning here but so far I really like it it's so pretty fantasy books are so pretty also look what I got today I'm so excited it's pink and gold okay I got it for Christmas and it just came in and I am so freaking excited I'm gonna link it in my Amazon storefront if you guys want to buy it Okay, it's 5.40 and we're done. But I need to go take a shower and get ready for school tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to go. That's too bad. <laughs> I gotta go. So what's the point of complaining about it when it's inevitable? Finally all sewn together. I just have to do the border. And honestly, I'm just contemplating doing it right now and just getting it over with. Yeah, but let's do it, let's do it. It's not really a full size blanket, but it's still like perfect to like just put on a chair and just have because it is so cute. This is my first ever blanket that I've ever made, and I'm obsessed with it. I want to do that thing that I've seen people with crochet blankets do. Let me do it real quick. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I'm gonna get my like cute chair that I use. For my clients and i'm gonna put it in here and then i'm gonna drape the blanket over it and then we're gonna get like the full look we're gonna take pictures and everything because i'm obsessed should i do it sideways or should i just do it straight on i don't know how i want to drape it i don't know let me figure that out and i'm gonna show you guys or maybe i'll just put it on my bed because it don't match my bed because my bed is green sorry i didn't really make my bed this morning but my bed is green so it would match my bed if i wanted to put it on my bed so i might do that i don't know i'll figure it out and i'll show you guys
Okay, here's some shots I got. I couldn't, I literally could not come up with anything like cute. So first I just did like unraveling it. And then like I showed it. And then I did this shot. I had to cut out the other side because the blanket ain't reached that far, okay? And then this shot, that shot, but it's a little too dark. Um, this shot, which I actually really like. And just like I threw it on the bed and tried to like come up with something. But if I add like a filter on there, it'll look cute. So now we're on to the last project. Finally, I'm going to go to Michael's today and get the boxes because they say you can find the boxes at Michael Michael's because I could not find them on Amazon. So I'm going to go to Michael's tonight and see if I can find them. And then we're going to finish this box and we're going to finish this video. And I'm actually kind of sad to see it in, you know, that blanket brought me through two amazing books a whole spring a whole christmas break like this was a good fun video and i hope you're enjoying it so far i have to post it this friday so i really need to hurry up and make this box today's monday but yeah that's my little update i may or may not take y'all on my goals i don't know but yeah somehow i made my way to the yawn section and they have so much plush yarn they're so pretty too but mm -mm. I'm gonna go ahead and find the boxes. I have no idea where I'm gonna find them, but I'm gonna find them and I'll show you guys. So I didn't find any boxes at Michael's. They lied to me. So I'm at a strip and it's Hobby Lobby. Dollar Tree and Walmart and I'm gonna check all those stores for the boxes and I'll let you know if I find one. Hey guys, it's been one day since y'all have seen me and yesterday, I kid you not, we went to the entire strip, the entire strip, we went to Walmart, Home Depot, Target, a not H-E-B, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. We went literally everywhere and could not find a box. And so I just got this from, I just got this from Hobby Lobby. But, 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 but hear me out. It's not that big, okay? It's not that big. I'm gonna use the box that's in the box that's in the box for my cake. So let me show you guys how big it is. Okay, so this is the first box. This is the second box. And this is the third box. It's still really big. It's still really big. Um. Yeah, this is um, really big. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut around the perimeter to make it shorter and make it more like circle, not cylinder. And so it could be like this short. But I'm scared to cut it because this is the only box I have and I don't wanna mess it up. We've done the first layer and it's already a way better size. Oh my gosh, this is almost perfect. I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it just a little bit shorter because I want it to be like here. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, this is perfect. This is literally the perfect size. Okay, that worked. That worked good. Yay. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I'm gonna show y'all. I'm not gonna do the one that I showed y'all because I found a cuter one. And y'all can, y'all won't even be mad when you see how cute it is. Look how cute that is, y'all. Oh my gosh. So I'm excited. I'm actually really, I think I'm most excited for this, which is crazy because I thought I'd be least excited for this. I thought I'd be most excited for the sweater, but the sweater didn't exactly turn out how I wanted it to because the colors just weren't what I wanted. Okay, light green, check. Red, check. Pink, check. White. Yay, we have all the colors. Oh my gosh, that's a first. I'm back from the gym, I went to the gym, and before I left, I finished the top of the box, and this is how much I'm gonna do. And I I did double crochets down here, and I had to switch to half double crochets because I didn't like how see-through the double crochets were. So now I'm gonna work on the top for this part, and then we can add the fun little details, and I'm so excited!
okay all right guys final review ready yes how cute is that the strawberries are literally perfect and then I added the flowers at like the bottoms of the little drapes whatever I wish I did these higher though because the like the cake looks kind of blank like here but the lighting's bad right now because it's nighttime but tomorrow during the daytime I'll show you guys again this is my birthday cake my birthday's on Monday January 15th Alright guys, we're finally done making everything and I'm going to bring everything and show you guys one last look before I end off this video. We started off somewhat strong. I wouldn't say as strong as I would have liked. Object, which was the sweater, which I will put on right now for you guys. So we started off with this sweater and honestly, taking a second look at it, no, I still don't like it. <laughs> It's not bad, it's just not, the colors are just not coloring the way that I wanted them to, but I don't hate it, I just don't like the colors. I love this sweater itself. So I'm gonna rate this sweater, I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10. That's not bad. And then we moved on to our beautiful blanket, which I'm obsessed with. It's been on my chair and I've been obsessed with it. And here it is. It is so freaking cute. I love this blanket. I have no regrets. Will I ever make it again? No. But I am obsessed with it. It is so pretty. I'm obsessed with the colors that I chose. I'm so glad that I found these colors. Honestly, I wouldn't mind making it again. You know, it wasn't that bad to make. And last, my favorite object of this whole video. And I knew... No, actually, I didn't think it would be my favorite. I thought this would be my favorite. So I'm shocked that the cake is my favorite. But we ended off strong with my birthday cake and my birthday's in two days so my birthday's in Friday. my birthday's in four days so this is like from me to me and i'm obsessed i put all my claw clips and hair ties in there and i love it so so much but yeah my cake don't the strawberries look delectable so i have it right here on my vanity and it just looks so cute there but yeah i'm literally obsessed with this cake it is so freaking cute and it's definitely my favorite. Oh, I rate the blanket. You know, the process was fun and it turned out cute. So I'm gonna rate it a seven out of 10, eight out, seven out of 10, yeah. Because I don't like the way that I sewed it together because it's just kind of stiff and it looks, it doesn't, it's not as like, what's the word, really flowy as I want it. So I give, I, if I were to change something, I one, make it bigger. And two, I change the stitch that I use to connect grand squares. So what did I say? 7 out of 10? 7 out of 10. The cake is a 40,000 out of 10. I'm obsessed with the cake. I wouldn't change a thing about it. I love it so much. And I'm going to make 17,000 more because they're so cute. And I want to make a chocolate one. I want to make like different flavors like chocolate, carrot cake, and like have different fruits on it. Oh, I'm getting excited. But yeah, if you guys want to purchase anything that I made in this video, it's going to be in my Etsy. I'm going to sell everything that I made. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to buy it or if you know someone who wants to buy it, it's my Etsy, Kano Made. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I did. I had fun. I had a lot of fun with you guys. And ooh, ring light is ring lighting, huh? And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Let me know if you liked this video or if you didn't like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and like. I already said that. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Have a blessed rest of your day, night, week, year. Who knows when I'll see you next? Just kidding. I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye. I love you. Mwah.